The South African company of OTT Technologies have built a large number of their MRAP type vehicles for the export market, particularly for use in peacekeeping operations. They have the M, the Puma, M36 is the latest one, and there's a brand new version being shown for the first time at African Aerospace event. And this is it, the Puma M36 Mark 60-2. The main difference of this vehicle is it's got an independent suspension which provides a much better ride for the crew, especially when going across rough country, and it retains its, its central tyre inflation system. Another version is offered with a Mercedes-Benz driveline. That's perhaps a, a cheaper coffers. Some of their older vehicles are offered with a Indian Ashcott Leyland suspension and standard leaf springs. So this is the latest version, development is complete and they expect a production order soon. If you can see it's got a mine protected hull of the V shape and the wheels extend away from the vehicle. And that provides a higher level of protection as if the vehicle goes over the mine, the blast is vented upwards. You can see it's got windows, bulletproof windows for improved situational awareness and underneath are firing ports. And what is unusual on top is mounted a French Nextra Systems 20mm cannon with the feed from the left. Also, cameras are fitted to provide situational awareness through 360 degrees and potentially, if required, a weapon station. It could be fitted with an uh, acoustic defection device. That will cover 360 degrees and when an incoming round comes in, if it is a threat to the platform, it comes up on a screen and the remote weapon station can swing onto the target and the gunner then has the opportunity as to whether to engage the target or not. The 20mm cannon fires standard 20 by 102mm ammunition and is fitted with a, a conventional day sight. It can be on, an, on a pintle mount, a ring mount or turret mounted. Another possibility is the installation of a GEW Technologies electronic countermeasure system. This will jam signals to prevent the designation of remote controlled improvised explosive devices and runs from the vehicle's power system. It is claimed to be simple and reliable to operation and is fully developed and in service.